So we just got a brand new gameplay showcase for Marvel Spider-Man 2, and if you checked out my latest video, if you're a returning viewer of the channel, I thought that maybe we'd get a story trailer at most, and the gameplay aspects of everything was actually uh, my most doubted um, speculation. I really did think that at, me at best we were going to get a, um, a story trailer, but this was amazing. I cannot physically explain the hype and just the the amount of excitement that I had going into this and the gameplay was worth that entire showcase. I sat through that showcase and I was I can't lie, I was kind of pissed because it, the games for me they weren't for me. Uh there were a few in there what I thought were kind of cute and stuff like that with the the animal games and stuff like that. But we finally Finally, after almost two years, got some amazing footage. Everything was great down to the last detail. I love um, I love the story that they're going for. What it looks like, what we can piece together, is that Harry Osborn is going to be a main staple. He's going to be like a MacGuffin of this film. I feel like he's a plot device in this, uh, in this game, not film, sorry. Um, it looks like Harry Osborn is dying. The only person that can save him in this universe is Dr. Connors. Dr. Connors has become the lizard, and Craven is after the lizard. So, as you can start to tell, there's a lot of stuff going on, and a lot of plot going on. And it looks like Connors and Peter, they do have a previous relationship, as we know from the first game. So, it looks like Peter is trying to save Connors... Uh, whilst also stopping Craven because it looks like Peter and Craven have some personal beef here. Now, I'm not sure what's going to have happened. We don't really know how Peter got the symbiote, but from the start of the game, uh, start of the gameplay that we got with Peter bursting out the basement doors, and he says, um, if Craven wants a hunt, I'll give him one he won't forget. To me, it sounds like he's got some personal beef with Craven. So I'm thinking Craven has done something um bad in peter's life and i think i have a theory of what's happened in the opening uh, of this trailer we get a live map of new york city we get black cat who looks to be in a more comic accurate suit uh then we have uh, spider-man and lizard and taskmaster and wraith and wraith is the most important one here i think I think we're going to start off this game hunting down Wraith, which is Yuri Watanabe from the first game, who is the police captain. And what I think is going to happen is Craven is going to kill Wraith. And we know that Wraith, Yuri, is close to Peter. And I think this is what's going to spike his vengeance for the rest of the story. I do think Yuri is going to die pretty early on from Craven's um, hand. And her death is what is going to turn peter evil ish if you want to call him evil and when he gets the symbiote the rage he feels for yuri's death from craven is what is going to spike his vengeance and i feel like that's probably the 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 route they're going for and i don't know man I just this guy is a force to be reckoned with spider-man with the symbiote in this game is wild the way he crashes through buildings the way his the way yuri uh lowenthal changes his voice as the symbiote spider-man um to be more dark and more grizzled is incredible and that is such peak voice acting that is amazing I just love uh, the direction they chose to go with, um, and I, I I love the tension between Miles and Peter. It feels like before the mission they showed us in the game, it looks like Peter and Miles have had some sort of beef before this mission, and I feel like we're going to start to see um, uh, splits and breaks in their relationship, in their friendship, and I feel like Peter is eventually going to snap at Miles and tell him that he's not worthy to be Spider-Man or something, and that's obviously going to make Miles very upset, you know? His hero has just told him he's not worthy of being the hero he, he thought he was destined to be, and I feel like that's going to be crazy, and I feel like when he pushes Miles away in that moment, and Peter becomes fully embraced in the darkness, um, that is um, when we're going to start to see Miles maybe not be Spider-Man anymore, 
And the only Spider-Man in the city is Symbiote Spider-Man. And he's going about everything wrong. He's not pulling his punches anymore. Um, he's, he's just ruthless. And I think by the end, it's going to have to be Miles coming back as Spider-Man and being able to stop Symbiote Spider-Man from going down this dark path, reminding him of how great he is, how what Spider-Man is supposed to mean and the hope that he embodies. And eventually we're going to see the Symbiote drop off of Spider-Man and probably make its way i'm assuming to harry osborne uh to become venom who we know is voiced by tony todd um i'm not really sure what they're gonna go with i uh, i feel like it will be harry because he seems to be the MacGuffin, and i feel like it'll probably all end up um in a big sort of event where craven is close to killing harry or something um miles uh, stops peter the symbiote drops off goes to harry harry kills craven um and venom is born he's the he's the act two antagonist we sort of had that in the first game we had martin lee as the main antagonist for the first half and then doc ock and the sinister six for the rest i feel like they're gonna go with something like that i do feel venom's gonna kill craven um i feel like that's probably the most valid option but as for this as for this glorious gameplay graphics are incredible like the first game and miles morales had amazing graphics you know amazing facial details uh, just amazing everything really everything about those two games those graphics were incredible only improved by the remastered and the ps5 versions but this one i don't know how they did it but they did they did the graphics even better what i think is um where we can see a lot more details on the actual people like uh we can see um the individual hairs on uh people's heads we can start to see sweat and stuff like that and i feel that's crazy we can start to see uh better shaders with the characters we still haven't seen um what peter and miles are actually gonna look like what their um, facial models are gonna like look like um uh, what clothing they're gonna be wearing and stuff like that that is all probably gonna be coming i'm assuming next month i think as soon as across the spider-verse drops we're gonna be getting a lot more um stuff for this game and it's gonna be crazy i feel like the graphics and the lighting and the composition and the saturations on each individual shot are incredible and wow when we cut to six months later and we see new york for the for the first time we see manhattan for the first time i can already tell that it looks way better than the first game um i think what it was i was trying to put my my finger on it what why does it look so different i feel it's the sky the sky has a new uh, skybox and it looks incredible it looks a lot more realistic and i think the buildings uh for me um look a lot more um they have like individual textures for the buildings and even in one shot you can see miles and miles off into the distance you can see all these buildings tracking back in the distance and i really think maybe all of that area is going to be playable and if it is that is insane because that is huge i don't know if it is going to be though but that's crazy and also finally we get queens queens looks amazing um i love the set here it doesn't look because all the the houses and stuff are like kind of regular houses it doesn't look like a place you're going to be able to really swing in as spider-man but i feel we're going to be able to explore it as peter parker we're going to be able to explore where he grew up because as you know if you read the prelude comic to the game that um peter has moved into aunt may's house and this is where he is here in this gameplay where he's fighting off craven's goons and the gameplay the mechanics everything is great i love the new ui um the new hood that we have i love the symbiote the look of the symbiote is incredible they nailed the design i love the gameplay mechanics i think they're great i love the new symbiote abilities the tendrils everything looks great being able to switch from peter to miles and being able to do that in combat as well what looks like seamlessly is masterful i feel i don't know what it is man it's just this game looks perfect and i haven't even played it yet and obviously we can't judge it it's, a, it's very early on um uh, we've still got a few months till the game comes out but i'm loving all the updates that they've done all the new features that we wanted to add, the, the web gliding, the slingshot, they added everything in. We wanted new stealth um, missions. We wanted sort of 
new mechanics for the stealth missions and it looks like we got that with the new dual takedown and stuff like that i feel like every complaint that we had about the first game whether it was the mj and miles sneaking missions or um any Thing towards the stealth missions or anything like that or in even just more mechanics that we want to add in it looks like insomniac have absolutely delivered on this i love the horror aspects with all the lizard stuff and i think it's a fish market i love that the way peter just crashes through the building like a menace is insane i love the, just the tension i love the atmosphere the setting i love that when i'm looking at this footage I don't feel like I've re I'm retreading the same waters. It looks like it looks all new. It looks all different. The city looks new. It looks lively. I like that there's people involved in the fights and you have to save them. That is what Spider-Man is after all. It's not just punching the bad guys. It's saving the innocents that can't save themselves. Um, another thing that I love is that um, we got actually kind of get a bit of a a nod to the Miles Morales opening. If you don't remember uh, with the Rhino fight. Miles is like, oh, no worries, Pete, I got this. And he tries to secure the vault with the rhino in it, but it messes up. The rhino escapes, and then there's a lot of calamity. Um, it looks like they've kind of repeated that, but flipped it on its head so that Peter, who was once the more experienced one, now with the symbiote, is a lot more ruthless. He doesn't really plan out his actions, and it looks like he's just more, you know, punch him and hit him and get it over with. It's um fight now and ask questions never it looks like for this version of peter and the way he leaps at the new at the helicopter and miles is the one to say nah pete you've got it wrong that is not what you want to be doing uh leads to the lizard almost chomping on miles uh the 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 immersive action is incredible the graphics are incredible I, the lizard looks amazing the, the action set pieces look phenomenal. I love the teamwork between Miles and Peter. Um, and I love the ending. It's so dark. We've never seen PS4 Spider-Man go this dark. And it is amazing. The way he's like, yeah, I've got teeth. I've got really big teeth too. Maybe, maybe Peter is going to be Venom in this game. That would be crazy. Or maybe he's going to become a version of Venom. Um... Still no release date. I think this is the the most annoying part of this footage. It says fall 2023. And if you read the PlayStation blog, it goes through some of the um, details in the game, which I'll probably leave linked in the comments section or in the description. It says at the very end, um, which is still the most annoying thing, is... I don't know, it's annoying, man, but they don't have a release date. And that's... I don't really know how to comment on that. If you go to the blog, it says, We know you've been waiting patiently for more information about the game, including when we're going to be able to play it at home. While we can't confirm a date today, we are on track for a fall 2023 release date and hope to be able to share a final release date soon. Stay tuned for further updates on Marvel Spider-Man 2, including edition information and pre-orders. So what this means, what we can gather from this information, is they're still absolutely going to be dropping the game in fall of this year. Which means anywhere between September to October, I would assume. Maybe possibly November. I don't really know fall. I, d I feel like that's an American term. I'm from the UK. I don't really know fall. But it sounds like anywhere between September, October, or maybe even November. But I'm thinking September, October, maybe, possibly, September. But they said that they can't confirm a specific date. They they still get, gave us the window that it's going to be dropping of fall this year. So anywhere between September and October. And the, the plan is, and I'm assuming with the next showcase that we get, the next sort of footage that we get for Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I don't know when we're going to be getting something new. It could be next month, could be the month after. I'm not really sure when we're going to be getting something new. But I feel like when we get maybe a story trailer, then we're going to get the release date, the pre-order date, and the special editions. So the thing I'm looking forward to the most is getting maybe a story trailer would be the best option. Then at the end says a specific date, whether it's I don't know, September 14th um, of this year. And then it says, well, pre-order is available now. You can go on pre-order the special edition, the regular edition, whatever it is that you're going to be getting. I feel like that's going to be the option. 
and this i'm just so excited i feel like this is incredible it looks amazing everything about this game is an improvement of the last two and that's not even knocking the last two the last two are some of my favorite games ever i think they're so incredibly immersive so brilliant in every way and to call this game better than those two combined in my opinion just from this footage alone is just a showcase of how incredible this game's going to be september cannot come soon enough um <laughs> it feels like a long time away but this is going to be absolutely insane and i cannot wait to see what's in store i can't wait for more footage i want to see a story trailer i want to really know what the plot of this game is i want to know what's happening i want to know more details i just want to play the game right now i'm super excited let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video peace